Hello and welcome. In this worked example, we'll be working through a cathode ray oscilloscope question. And the question reads, a cathode ray oscilloscope is used to determine the frequency of a sound wave. The diagram shows the waveform on the screen. The time-based setting is 5.0 milliseconds per division. What is the frequency of the sound wave? All right, well, first it becomes clear to me that I need my writing tool. All right, so let's start uh, with the information that's given. We've got 5.0 milliseconds per division. Now, a millisecond is a thousandth of a second. So the prefix milli, you can just you know, transfer that to 10 to the negative three. So we'll rewrite this as five milliseconds. So five by 10 to the negative three seconds per division. Now, if we look at the, if we scope, the oscillations that are uh, on the screen here, we can see that there is one waveform, two and a half, exactly two and a half waveforms occupying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven divisions. So we want to cancel out divisions. So we can say that there's seven divisions, seven divisions per 2.5 waves. Now, when we multiply these two factors, division's gonna cancel out and we're gonna have seconds per wave. Seconds per wave is the period of time. Take its inverse and you'll find the frequency F, which we previously defined. If you remember the, uh, the physics wrap there. If not, check the link. So let's go ahead and take five by 10 to the negative three. I've got the calculator queued up over here. So 0 0.005, five by 10 to the negative three, divided by two point. Five, and that gives us the time period. Okay. Oh, we got to multiply it by seven, right? Seven divisions. So this gives us the time period, 0 0.014 seconds per wave. So the frequency is just the inverse of that. So we get one over X. And this gives us 71.42 Hertz. And so choice B is the correct answer for this question. This has been another worked example with Dr. Schleif, still living the physics life. We'll see you next time.